Hey guys, it's Andrea with VW Family Farm and I'm back in the kitchen. So I've got another recipe for you today. It's late evening. We've had a busy day of homeschooling, homesteading, chores, all the kinds of stuff, you know, that fills up your day. And I have no plan for supper. I don't know if you ever do that, but I seem to do that a lot. And then we make this recommitment that we're gonna eat earlier because when we eat late, it's bad. We feel like our food never goes down, then we just go straight to bed. It's just not a good plan, not something good to do on a routine basis. So, but here it is time to be getting something going and I don't have anything started. So I called Ben and he suggested this that I'm about to make and he suggested that I should share it with y'all because it is really good and here's the things I like about it. It's fast, it's very simple, and it's good. And here's a fourth thing. It uses things we've grown, so I always like that too. So let me go through the ingredients. This is very simple. Sausage, I'm using my sausage from our pigs. There's the sausage. Cream cheese, two blocks of cream cheese. And finally, butternut squash that we grew in the garden. So let's get busy on this. First thing, I'm gonna rinse these butternut squash off just because I don't wash the dirt off after I harvest them. I, it seems like they keep better. So they've not been washed. So I'm just gonna rinse them a little bit. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slice these in half lengthwise like this. Okay, and I'm gonna do all four of these. All right, so I got them all sliced. Now I'm gonna kind of dig out this stringy part and these seeds. This part's a little bit of a pain, but you definitely wanna get these out. So I'm just using a spoon just to kind of dig these out. Okay, so I'm gonna clean out the insides of all eight of these now. Okay, so I cleaned all these butternut squash out. If you've got a super awesome way to clean the seeds out without like killing your hand, digging with a spoon, put that in the comments because I don't know any tricks for that. Okay, now I'm gonna put this in the Instapot and I'm using this little trivet. So I'm gonna put this down in there to hold it up out of the water. And I'm gonna put half a cup of water down in there. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but it's gonna be plenty to create the steam and pressure that it needs. Okay. That's all I'm gonna put. I'm gonna stack these in there up like this. I'm just gonna put them in here however they will fit. And hope they all fit. Then I'm going to put the lid on this. Yay, they all fit. And I'm going to do manual and I'm gonna pressure these for only five minutes, okay? And that's all there is to that step. Okay, really the only other step is to brown your sausage. So I'm gonna put a lid on this. This is our all natural pork sausage from our old spots. And I'm cooking two packages of that and I'm gonna put a lid on it so it'll steam and cook faster. So I'm gonna get that cooked and broken up and I'll be right back with you. Okay, the sausage is cooking up really well. Okay, so the sausage got brown and I just put the two blocks of cream cheese on top. Um, after the sausage gets brown, you can drain it or not, whatever you prefer. Um, and then I just, like I said, put the cream cheese on top. I'm just gonna put a lid on this. And just let that sit, it's on low for a few minutes. Can anyone guess what these ingredients are gonna make? If you guessed hot chocolate, you're right. I told you how I'm trying to use more ingredients we produce and more of our own stuff. So instead of sweetening this with sugar like I would have normally done, we are gonna try to sweeten this hot chocolate with honey. So it'll have all good nourishing ingredients. We're using our own raw milk that we milk here on the farm. Uh, my vanilla is from Azure Standard and so is my cocoa powder. Um, so let's get going. Okay, so 
This is our raw milk. I'm just putting four cups of raw milk or any milk board. I'm going to put a fourth of a cup of cocoa powder for the chocolate, of course. I'm going to put a couple teaspoons, which really just means a little splash of vanilla. And then I'm going to try about three tablespoons of honey because normally on like a quart of something I'm sweetening, I would put like a fourth of a cup of sweetener per quart and this being a quart of milk. But honey is sweeter than sugar. So I'm gonna use three tablespoons instead of four. And if you're wondering what this thing is I'm putting it in, it's just something I've had for several years. You do not have to have this. You can heat this on the stove. Just don't scorch your milk. This is just a hot chocolate. It's by Mr. Coffee. It's called a Coca Motion. It works fine. It just heats it up, stirs it up. It's got a little magnetized stirrer in the bottom. So, okay. So we're gonna make this, and then I'll let the kids tell you if it's any good. So the sausage finished, the cream cheese got soft and I stirred it in. Let's move over here to the butternut. It got done and I let it rest for a little bit while I was messing with other stuff. So I'm just going to turn it off. It's done the natural release method for about 20 minutes. I don't think you'd have to go that long. The pressure's already gone anyway. I'm just going to open it up and it looks good. So I'm going to get this on a plate. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just being real with you. I opened the butternut squash and it was not done. So I've turned it back on for five more minutes. So let's edit this recipe to be 10 minutes from the beginning. All right, so here's the final product. We take the butternut squash once we get it finally cooked and put the sausage and cream cheese mixture in it. Just kind of mix it up and that's how we eat it. And the family is going to taste test our homemade hot chocolate made with honey. Okay, so y'all taste it and tell them if it's really good or not. gonna eat give these recipes a try thanks for watching god bless that's dirty so now it's after supper that's just dirty and this is what ben is doing <laughs> my feet hurt after a long day's work he's soaking his feet in emily's little what's this called emily orby's soothing spa thing in an orby's soothing spa but it don't vibrate no more. Well, it has lights though. You can turn the lights on. I don't care about lights. I want <laughs> my feet to feel better. <laughs>